Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to make your hermit crab fresh and your hermit crab salt water. Hermit crabs need fresh and salt water to moisturize their gills, and they need salt water to um, also moisturize their gills and to bathe them. That's very important to have in your tank. But you cannot use regular tap water to do this. This has regular tap water in it, but to dechlorinate it, you need to chlorinate it. So I mainly use this one. It is um, for, it adds a slime coat to it too. And this one is seven drops per gallon. So you don't need to put it. Probably just one drop in here. So, one drop will do the trick. Now, you can also use stress coat or you can use this one. This one adds more of a slime coat to it. So, after you get the dechlorinator and the fresh or the, um, the tap water in a water bottle, then fresh water is done. You can set that aside. Salt water is actually very, very tricky. And um, you'll need either instant ocean or uh, stuff like that. Um, you cannot use table salt. Instant ocean is the way to go. Or you can purchase some of this. Um, but one bottle of this will not last very long. It comes in a bottle just like this. They actually changed your label recently, but it, it looks like this. It says hydrate on it. And if you look, it's, it's probably not gonna focus, but it says um, keep a fresh dish of hermit crab salt water clean dish and replenish daily. It has no chlorine, chloramides, ammonia, nitrate, heavy metals, or other um, phosphates that can um, contaminate bacteria found in tap water or anything like that. So it has nothing in tap water, but you cannot drink it. This is um, not meant for human consumption right there. But um, this is also good. I've seen my crabs drink it multiple times. Um, I have no instant ocean, but um, if you, for one gallon, I think instant ocean is a fourth of a cup for a whole gallon, and for a 16 ounce bottle, it is one tablespoon of instant ocean. So you would just add um, some instant ocean to a water bottle. Or if you want to go to the pet store, they can always um, calculate it up for you. Either way, it works. So, yeah, that's about it. Along with fresh water, you also need misting water, and this is the same thing for that. It's about one drop, or you need to read on the back. So for this one, it's seven drops per gallon, or a capful for ten gallons. So I just use one drop. One or two sometimes, just to be sure. And I'll also dechlorinate this one. With this one also. It just depends, but this one's already dechlorinated and I don't have any more instant ocean. We're going to the store today, so yeah, that's about it. Make sure you have fresh water and salt water in your crab attack. Um, you can look up on the Hermit Crab Association. Um, you should put you should always put some uh, dechlorinator in your water because um, on the Hermit Crab Association page, they have a, uh, it's called, I believe it's called the Great, um, I believe it's called the Great Water Thing. But on the on the Hermit Crab Association page, they have a competition of some sort. Um, you can look it up. It's 